Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 14. And today we're going to be going over the content access module. As always, I'm Shane, and you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. And I do apologize if you watched the Daily Dose of Drupal episode 13 video, as it looks like we had some audio problems originally, but that should all be fixed up now. And go ahead and check out my other videos if you haven't already. You can find them on my website, codekarate.com, where you can also subscribe to my newsletter. So the first thing we're going to do is look talk about the content access module. And the content access module is going to allow you to control permissions on your site for specific content types. So what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to set permissions for editing, viewing, deleting for a specific content type so you may want anonymous users to not see content that logged in users can and that's what we're going to do in this very simple example. The first step is to download the content access module and you can see the current version is 1.2 beta 1 and we'll go ahead and come into our test site here where I'm logged in as the admin go to the modules page and scroll down until we find the content access module we'll turn that on you could also enable this through Drush of course and we'll click the save configuration button you'll probably get a message that says the content access permissions need to be rebuilt so we will rebuild those now and that may take a few seconds depending on how many or how many different nodes or how much content you have on your site. So we'll let that sit. It seems to be taking its time. Uh, the big thing that you're going to be doing is setting which roles can view which content in this example so while that's going I'm just gonna open this up over here okay they it went ahead and finished I went into structure and I'm going to go into content types you'll see that I have a doctor appointment content type and that's the one that we're gonna look at right now so I will click the edit link and you'll see there's a new tab up here called access control I will click on this and it gives you role based access control settings so this is what we're going to look at in this case and you can see that for viewing any doctor appointment content currently anonymous authenticated and administrators can view that if we wanted to limit viewing to only authenticated users we could remove the anonymous user checkboxes and we could click submit now if we hop over to another browser I'm logged in right now as an anonymous user you can see I'm logged in as a user named Dr. One. And if I click on this appointment, you can see that I have the ability to view Node 10 on the site. If I happen to log out, though, you'll see that there is no appointment that shows up. If I try to go to Node 10, I will get an access denied page. And what this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to completely customize who should see who can edit and who can delete what types of content on your site so if you have a website where you're going to be having multiple different content types in multiple different roles and permissions for different users this is going to be a module you are going to become acquainted with to say the least there's also the ability to allow per content node access control settings and I believe um, you can also install the ACL module to, I don't know if that's required or not, but I know that that is one thing that I've installed many times in the past when using this module, especially with uh, per content type node access control settings. I do not know if that's required though, so you might have to try that on your own and see how it works for you. Uh, there's a priority here, and there have been occurrences that I've noticed and I'm sure that many others have noticed as well that if you have a couple different node access modules or content access modules installed you may need to grant priority the one that I have run into many times is with 
organic groups and so this priority field can be helpful if you feel like your settings up here are not getting um, or not, not working or maybe you have a different node access module and you don't want these settings to apply so you need to lower the priority and that's all there really is to the content access module it's a simple module but it's extremely powerful for building out websites and web applications especially when you have multiple different roles and permissions that need to be set so until next time this is the daily dose of Drupal thanks for watching